Sure. Go ahead and start now. Right. This is my presentation of a demonstration as well. Okay. And I've been trying very hard to keep all of you in the dark about that, and you'll see in a second. All right, I'll give you a few clues quick. What is it? Well, it's a very awesome show. It's very colorful. It's been around since the 1990s. It has some good lessons at the end of it. I'm pretty sure you all know what I'm talking about. Yes, I'm talking about Power Rangers. I'm going to show you how to be a Power Ranger today. No, not really. I'm joking. Come on, guys. You should know me better than that. No, I'm actually talking about My Little Pony. Now, I know what a lot of you are probably thinking right now. Yeah, what Spike says. But really, it's not as bad a show as some of you would probably make it out to be right away. And I'm sure a lot of you, because I did this too, I'm sure a lot of you are probably carrying hate from the last seasons because you didn't like those, and honestly, I did not either. So, there have been four series, or generations as what some people would call it. The first one was kind of adventurous with dragons and orcs. It really was not that great. The second one was a high school drama of girls getting boyfriends and enough said. The third one, I don't even know. I just know it's sort of a combination of the last two and it didn't work out so great. The version 3.5 was when they were little babies and that didn't work out so great. Now generation four is what I'm talking about. Why is this one different? Well, it had good animations. The problems of the stories were very unique and very awesome. Each character had its very own unique uh, quali qualities and problems that they had to face. The lessons at the end were very good and very life uh, important. And soon the, the population of this series grew. <laughs> oh, shoot. I clicked back. All right. So what is a brony? A brony is a word that was created by the fans of a combination of the words bro and pro pony equaling brony. This is normally given to them to men and teens who like the show. Their ages, their ages range from about 16 to 40, or sometimes even older. Some girls who are fans of the show also like to be called bronies, but some of them prefer Pegasus, which is Pegasus and Sister. Now, how can, I, how can you become one too? Well, I did some research and there's about three different types. There's a minimal requirement where you just watch the first season and you pick a favorite pony of the six. Uh, there's a standard brony, which they watch season two as well. They sometimes collect some of the action figures, uh, you have to tell your friends about it, and of course you have to collect wear shirts about it too. This isn't a good example. No, it's not mine. It's too small. This is mine. <laughs> and of course you also have to collect the action figures. These are not mine. These are my sister's. This one's mine. <laughs> and more advanced brony is someone who watches the season three as well. No, not you. Someone who watches season three as well as a few other things. Oh, come on, stop going back. <laughs> now, what is an, an advanced brony? Well, there's, three, there's about three different main types that I've seen. One, they can create music of their own creativity from, based on their love for the show. There's fan art, of course, and they make their own videos as well. Now, the music department, as I would call it, these guys watch the show, they can become inspired by characters or just something they found in it and they decide to make a song from it. Some examples are Discord and 20% Cooler. The art department. These guys are inspired by the creativity and the animation of the series and put and make their own versions, like the one on the bottom. Or some people who like the series and want to make a combination of it, such as the Avengers picture up there. Now the film department. These guys are the most talented of the three, I believe. They go out and they make their own custom uh, stories and animations of the series. And they're really good. Like the top one, Snowdrop. That's about 15 minutes on YouTube. It's a very emotional story created by a fan. One of the bottom is more humorous, about Fluffy Puff, which is an extremely fluffy pony, doing some adventures. And it's where there's some positives, there are also some negatives. And I've seen some of them, and they are questionable at best. <laughs> now, simple bronies. Well, these guys are basically your typical fans for anything. They would just go out, wear the merchandise, watch the series, collect the ponies, whatever. And these guys also do something else unique. They name characters. These guys are all characters who just sit around in the background and do nothing. But they, they notice some of these guys and actually take the time to give them names, like Doctor Who's, Final Scratch, Octavia, Derpy, the list goes on, frankly. Now, with every series, with everything on the internet nowadays, there's going to be trolls and there's going to be haters. I'm sure a few of you are in here right now. Now, uh, why do they hate us? I honestly have no idea. Well, I went and I tried to do a little bit of research. Well, from what I, I came up with three main reasons. They either don't like it, because they think we're trying to enforce on their manhood, or something, I don't know. They hate it just because they don't like it, like from what they've seen from other series. And honestly, I was like that too. I mean, the other ones were terrible. Then I found this one and I thought it was quite interesting. Or, this is the most typical answer, they're just going to troll because they can't. I mean, who doesn't? 
Now, the very interesting thing about these fans is that they create their own little way of dealing with trolls. Like, most of the time, when someone's hating on what you like, you're gonna hit them back. And then they're gonna hit back at you, you're gonna hit back at them, whatever. But these guys, um, from their love from the show, they create something what they call to love and tolerate. Which is actually a very good way to deal with them because a lot, and what I've found is that some uh, haters and trolls on the internet actually have something going on in their life. And seeing this, this actually is very good because this can get to them and then they'll draw them out in conversation, you'll find out there's something going on in their life and it actually works out for the best. Now, from what everything I've told you so far, from what I can see, you've got about two options here. One, you're going to completely ignore everything I've just said, which I'm sure most of you will do. You're going to go on with your lives, you're going to do your project, you're going to go home, you're going to do whatever that isn't my little pony. Or, you're going to go home, you're going to give it to your curiosity, and you're going to give the show a try, which I greatly encourage, because it's actually a really good show. Now, as Boromir says down here, one does not simply watch My Little Pony for a few minutes. And I'm serious, like, when I first saw it, I was just going to watch the first episode and see how it was. I couldn't stop there. I had to watch the second one, because it's a two-parter, and I had to watch the third one. <laughs> then I had to watch the fourth. Then I had to watch season two, and then season three. So, yeah, when he says you can't watch it for a few minutes, he's right. You can't. And I didn't. So, if you watch it, just be warned that when you do, you're not going to stop. And eventually, you may become a brony too. And the only thing I can say is, if you do become a brony, welcome to the herd. And that is all.